there's nowhere to cash in a judgment. One can't go to the bank and, and have, have them turn it into money. In many cases, it's easy to get a judgment against a deadbeat debtor. But collecting on that judgment, that's really the hard part. Each state gives creditors arrows in their quiver to use in order to turn a judgment into money. And it's just a matter of figuring out which arrow is the right one. One way to cash in on judgments is to garnish their wages. Most states will allow me to have a portion of that paycheck, not all of it, but a portion of that paycheck sent to satisfy my judgment. You can also go after other property, seizing cars, bank accounts, collectibles, virtually anything of value. Those things can be, in most jurisdictions, seized and sold to satisfy the judgment. Same thing with real estate. A house can be foreclosed upon because a judgment, just like a mortgage, acts as a lien on property. In many cases, you're going to find yourself standing behind a long line of creditors who already have liens on their property. So the key is finding assets you can really use to satisfy your judgment. Most states allow questions which have to be answered by the creditor to discover assets. And those questions can be, list your bank accounts. Do you have a job? How much do you make? Where do you live? Do you own your home? Are there any mortgages on it? The problem with this process is that the very same debtor that ignored your lawsuit is likely to disregard your hunt for assets. It's not as if one could simply send um, a series of questions to the guy that owes you money and expect specific comprehensive replies by return mail. It doesn't happen. The person won't answer. You will have to go to court to get a court order forcing them to answer. It takes a lot of time. The best time to ask these questions is long before you need the answers. You want to take certain information from that prospective customer, where they bank, where they're employed, assets, it can provide you with information that will give you a heads up before you ever have to ask them questions in post-judgment discovery as to the best places to look to have your judgment satisfied.